Yes, good evening. Thank you. Ah, okay. Uh, I want to go over a little bit on sensing from last week. Uh, then, uh, then we'll move into tonight's trading in uh, format form. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see, sensing, sensing. Okay, there was a comment. So think, sense, and the word uh, feeling came up. Um, so one comment was, as we were heading into more sensing, a certain level, a little better dimension where we begin to sense. Uh, and a couple of guys uh, brought up um, being more centered. I feel I'm more centered. And uh, so, yeah, feeling on your way to sensing. Uh, yes. So feeling more centered would clue you in that you're just about there at the sensing place. And they're so close, although uh, I, I would say right now, feeling is first and then sensing. Uh, but after a bit in better sensing, there is a feeling, sensing, sensing, feeling. So anyway, uh, so those guys who brought up uh, being more centered, feeling more centered, and someone else said, oh, I'm feeling more balanced. Those are good on the way signs to sensing, okay? Uh, also, I think there was a question of uh, how, do you, how do you trust that you're sensing? And uh, so one easy form is, first you get an idea, I, I, I wanna sense something or I have to sense something. Okay, that's the idea. Now the process, you settle, you begin to breathe, feel. You're on your way to more inner, finer. And as you're feeling, for example, I'm feeling myself sitting here a bit better. I'm feeling the beginnings of squirt away. I'm feeling my feet on the floor, a little finer now. Sensing, now I'm entering the realm of sensing. Easy. Sense. What's my sense of whatever? Uh, so for me, the feeling along the way clues me in that I am in a sensing place. Okay, so that's one of my honesty factors. Uh, so I can't skip feeling. I can say I have an idea to sense. Okay, I'm sensing. I, I can't do it. I don't want you to do it that way. A little feeling of some kind on your way to sensing. So uh, thinking, yeah, oh, feeling along the way to sensing. Okay. Um, what else there? Hang on a sec. Okay, I use the, uh, 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 I talked a bit last week about uh, there that when you have an experience, the information bing is sent up, uh, it's filed away. So I thought of a, a, another stupid story there. It's like a, a book, uh, let's call it a poetry book. A poetry book has been purchased by the library or a poetry book has been uh, donated to the library. Now, as soon as they get that book, one of the first things they do, using old terminology to make me comfortable, is they make up a library card. So a little information about that book or experience is filed. Now, if you read the library card, uh, it's only going to give you a sentence or two about the book, but it tells you there is a book 
and it tells you about where it's at. Okay, uh, so uh, so that's another way, a dumb way maybe, of looking at that message that goes out, uh, so that later if I'm tooling around mentally, uh, that library card memory will tell me, oh. There is an experiential place. I can get back there again. I've been there before. I know it exists. Okay, so library card form. Not too dumb for you, I hope. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, we used to do a practice that I did a practice at es Eslin back in the day. And it'd be a week long. And I'd have two people, just two people sit together as partners and they'd sit and hold hands, be related to each other. And I tell them not to look and try to figure out the other person by the clothes they're wearing or whatever, but just settle, forget what words I was using then, but basically settle, easy, begin to sense, feel, hanging out with this person whatever and the uh the focus was you're going to have to spend all afternoon not 10 minutes all afternoon with that person now as you settle and sense and open finer sense whatever qualities or feelings that you get just note them and after 10 minutes uh we change partners and what was interesting there was doing the same thing with that second partner. But the feeling was different. Okay. And then after 10 minutes or whatever it was, we changed to a third partner and do the same thing. And again, usually it was different. And closer to the end of the week, they really be began to trust their sensing because if they were sitting with a guy who was the group comedian, that's what they were feeling. They were feeling this be humorous feeling because you're going to have to spend all afternoon with this guy. And he's very funny. Okay? Or uh, the second person maybe was more of a philosopher and you were feeling all this philosophical sense. And you'd realize, oh, yeah, that's what I was getting. And now I know this guy. I see he's the philosopher of the group. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, so they, uh, by doing that practice, they trusted their sensing. Because remember, again, the sensing was done at the beginning of the week-long session where they didn't know the other people. They could just trust what was happening in their sensing, what kind of energies were moving around in there. Okay, so history. Uh, sensing, sensing, sensing. Another story uh, I, I remembered when I was uh, mulling on last Friday was uh, my sister back in the day. Uh, she's married to a truck driver, adamant truck driver. And uh, she doesn't drive, never driven. And you definitely don't tell this guy how to drive. <laughs> okay, no way. They were uh, going out of state someplace driving and they're reaching the top of a hill and she said adamantly, stop the car. Okay, which is kind of verboten in that family for her to tell him anything about the car, stop the car. She had this sense of something very, very wrong. Must have been a strong sense because for her to tell him stop the car, it was already a major move. They got out of the car and looked on the, they were here, looked down there, the bridge was out. If they had continued, uh, they would have been in trouble. Okay, so she sensed danger, right? Not, oh, I see a lion, I think we're in trouble here. It, it wasn't that, it was a sense of, that you couldn't prove at that moment. It was a sense of. And I'm sure if we had time and we asked other people if they've ever had a sense of something like that, uh, we could probably hear some interesting stories, but I'm not sure how much time we have tonight. Okay. 
Uh, you like those sensei stuff? I'll try to fit this one in. Uh, I was in Japan and I was uh, leaving Japan and uh, I had a few questions to ask those sensei uh, to help me continue on my way. And uh, so he got the word I was leaving the country and this was the last, as far as we knew then, the last time I'd see him. Uh, and, but he came into the room and he was already into this deeper, very deep. And I was used to him being deep, but this was very deep. Uh, and so when I asked the question, uh, you could just feel, sense feel, you could just sense that he was deep listening okay. and that the answers were going to come out of a very deep level uh, so I don't know if that fits in with sensing but just that uh, being in a place where you can just hear sense sense the truth of the question sense the direction sense what answer is best it's all there uh, so uh, what else we got here? Uh, Aikido technique. Oh, I'm doing an Aikido technique. Yeah, let's do an Aikido movement here. Uh, Miss Pacha. We got new camera set up here, so let's see. Yeah. Uh, no, we're doing. Uh, no, we're doing a uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Back. Uh, okay, so the, I, I see, I felt, okay, we begin to settle more and more. Uh, I, uh, again, I move along fairly fast here. Uh, that could take, a, uh, you might have sensei, to Sensei, could you please, more. Sensei, could you please turn 90 degrees in the room and look towards the new camera? Okay. Uh, it's towards jump the on Brad. He didn't give me instructions. This way? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. Brad said okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. So, boom. Okay. A lot of feeling starting. I feel myself settle a bit. I saw her start to harmonize a little bit. I felt that harmony, saw it and felt it. Uh, and after a while, uh, as that feeling and being more present moves into sensing, now, sense. So there was that, uh, again, I'm a little fast, you might have to do a few there. Sensing, there. Uh, I sense her buildup. There. Pay attention. There. I <laughs> see her on the camera. I can't do that. <laughs> Anytime. And I sense move. Okay. So just making that shift from the obvious. Okay. Figure it out more. I've got to do it faster. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to, easy, easy, the eye, easy. And you get to another level where body and body, and you can start to feel certain things. Like, gee, it felt like her foot and my foot hit kind of similar. Okay, her step and my step seem to hit similar. Yeah, moving on. Feeling into a little better level. Feel sensing, sensing. Oh, yeah. There, there she is. Again, it was much earlier and much fuller. Touch anything? Yeah, the, the flow that's catching you up from behind. Okay. So sensing is not just a concept. A conscious said, when I'm in sensing, other energies that are going behind her and catching her are starting to happen. So sensing is not just an idea of something. In a sensing place, there are that dimension of energies and activity. I sense move. 
Okay, yeah, thank you. Ah, okay. Uh, anything else? I think that's about it. Uh, that go over last week Friday stuff. Uh, okay, last week. change. There we are. <laughs> um, a question came up from uh, a previous class uh, to go over that word heavenly again. So can we take a minute or two for that a question somebody asked to go over that again? Uh, where is it? There it is. So if you remember that diagram of, uh, I'll just do three instead of the unnameable thing. Uh, okay, let's say of heaven, remember they're overlaid. So I had to picture it out this way, but they're overlaid here, here, here. They're all here, here, here. They're just much finer interior. That's why we have to do inner dimensional work. Doing it out there just as an idea. It's inner experiential. Anyway, you have heavenly, uh, hidden, of sensei terminology, uh, nani, uh, manifest. Manifest is, is the physical dimension, the obvious, all the stuff that you can see, feel. Uh, hidden, uh, again, refers to the finer dimensions. Like when I make that move on Katya and Katya said, Whoa, energies came around behind me and touched me. That's hard, beginning to be hard to see. Some people can sense see it, but it's getting harder to see. It's the, it's the hidden. And then there's finer dimensions and finer dimensions and finer dimensions. Uh, eventually, through the whole universe in finer dimensions, uh, because it's full, it starts to touch that that preceded it again. It's overlaid. Uh, heavenly. Okay. Now, ah, oh, heavenly is a big bite here. Let's see. Heavenly is where the soul is fully present, fully present with all the, all key. Okay. I guess we should surmise all the energies are all there. And, uh, all the qualities, although since they use a different word, we use qualities uh, down through here, uh, but those qualities, I forgot what word he used, doesn't matter, but he used a different word, but they were the qualities. So here's this heavenly place where the all soul with all the energy and all the qualities are there, uh, bonded well together, okay? It's a real oneness. Now, as the creation starts, goes this way now, boom, as the creation starts, then the energy split off into a he, she setup. Uh, what do you call it? Yin, yang, uh, spirals this way, spirals that way, uh, whatever you want to, your sense of it is, but it's basically a he, she, the great mother, the great father of creation. And a uh, soul is ever present but we get boxed in kind of tight, so we're not quite sure what a self is. Oh, that's what I think about myself. No, no, no. Again, sense of self, <laughs> that word. Who was I before I was I? Who am I really? If Bobby didn't exist, who the hell am I? Uh, that, to me, that's meditation, uh, tracking more on that main piece, okay? It's a very important main piece. Uh, so anyway, heavenlies are, are the pre-creation place. And we were all there, and then we made our move. And we each made our move uh, on a different slant. So some people made their move, and they ended up being musicians. Others made their move, and they ended up being martial artists. Others made their move, and they're doctors. Others made their move, and they're... Oh, we, we all have different slants on things. Okay, I, I'm not always a warrior. Uh, uh, there's other parts of me that I've experienced. Uh, 
I do a fair amount of male, but I've done some female. Uh, okay, I have these different experiences, uh, but they're still based on what I was soaking in in the heavenlies. Okay, soaking with certain qualities and stuff, and then chose. I'm going on further than I want with this. I'm in Okehashi, the Golden Bridge thing. Might as well throw that in here. Uh, that's the lineup from the heavenlies down to the uh, manifest here. Okay? Uh, so if you line up right, because they're overlaid, you can go finer and finer and finer to a much more original. And that much more original can be here. Okay? I, uh, back to sense that there's no space or time. He caught that overlay was so uh, potentially thin. Okay, so he stood a certain way. He was in that much finer. The rest of us are running around like human beings and we're a joke to him because he's in a whole different finer set of laws of how things work. Okay, so that's the golden bridge. All right. Uh, if that's too complicated, uh, you could say, here's Bobby, and if Bobby settles and opens, ah, ah, Robert. And if Robert settles and opens, da, 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 ah, oh, nah, do, ah. That there's a bit of a bridge there. See, Bobby is still here. I'm not acting like Bobby, but there's still a Bobby potential. Robert, we touched on along the way, but here is Nado. Nado being present here, okay? But if you look at my wa my wallet, my driver's license still says Bobby, <laughs> okay? It uh, still shows the same address, but I'm not the same being, all right? So that's a condensed version of Aminuke Hashi, the Golden Bridge, all right? Another day. Okay, how are we doing here? Moving along, uh, trading in. I, I just thought I would I would try. Uh, basically, it's, a, it's the same old story, okay. Uh, but to change words, change the setup, the view on it a bit uh, can give you a better perspective. So let's see this page here. Uh, um, is that enough to work for us? Okay, don't need any pages. Okay, trading in. Uh, so basically, it's Bobby, especially I'm not that totally happy with being Bobby or he has too many weaknesses or whatever. Okay, first the idea, gee, I'd like to be better. The trade in, if I take the feeling of myself as Bobby. Feel them for a moment. So it's not just an idea. Okay, you can't, you can't trade in with an idea. Uh, nothing substantial can take its place. There's no substance. There's an idea. And ideas just, shoo, shoo, there, there, there's no oomph to them. We need the oomph. That's part of the creation. That grouping, if you would. We need that. Okay. So a trade in Bobby hangs out, feels Bobby, and trades himself in. And next dimension is there, or next level. And, and, and Robert. So we're on lineage, we're on the Nado lineage, roughly, let's call it. Bobby Nado trains and trades himself in for Robert. Nod dose. So I'm on, on that lineage. If I were an uh, Ike doer, in Ike do, a trade in, the angle again, Brad? Uh, yeah. Please stand by, okay. Sensei. Please stand by just one moment. Where is it? Just a moment, please. I'm okay. 
Okay, so Sensei, if you would rotate so that you step back towards the corner a little more, we can see your feet. And if Katya, if you can move your feet towards the easel so that you're squared up to the camera. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, uh, not that much. Not that much, right. Where we go. We now okay. see clearly. So, all right. So here I am, Nikyoi. Okay. So I'm on a Nikyo lineage. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, it's all right, but I should be better. Okay. Slowing this down, I trade in. I trade in all of this. Yes, that's my yes, yes, yes. It's a Hanmi. Yes, yes, yes. I trade it in. As I trade it in, then the next grouping, boom, boom, boom. This is the next grouping. Boom. What do I notice? In this next level of decor, I notice the hips. Well, first I did notice the Hanmi went a little bit bigger, better base. And I noticed that hips are much more involved. Oh, you mean it's not a shoulder arm? No, not at a better level. It's a lot of that, a lot of that flow, okay? Let's say hey, that's not bad, but I think I can do better or I have a very advanced partner who, who in some form is saying, you can do better. And he blocks me out a bit to help me, not as a negative, to help me. So that I have to trade in, ah, trade in to be even a better level, better level. What's happening here at this better level is I noticed there's a much clearer circular movement that still seems to sort of be present. There's a certain circle to her. Uh, see, the, my first guy, I touched the front of her. It was all frontal. Uh, this third level, ah, good ground. The hip is still doing that movement. And there's this feeling of something coming around, touching her center. Now, your mistake as humans will be, oh, I got that. I'll shoot a circle around there and get them and screw it all up. Because you're meant to exist as a third level you, to move as a third level you, to speak from a third level, third level, okay? It's not an idea that you learn. Damn it, pay attention here. It's not, oh, I got it. In class, when it says, oh, I got it, they're okay for one or two moves and then it all falls apart. Because they shifted to, oh, I've got, I understand. But slowly they'll fade, they'll, they'll fade. And they'll get a little confused as to why. I just had it a minute ago. No, you shifted to thinking about it and you lost this, boom. I'd like to do a better level. I trade in. Ah, I notice the ground is pretty good still. Maybe a little bit better than before. Uh, I just feel fuller here. This 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 thing that I did with the hips before feels more more fuller. It's more like that. Fourth level. What else? A lot about centering on. Uh, it just feels to be a natural center on, okay? Now, careful. When you teach people certain things and you teach them, okay, be centered on, they'll go back to the first level and go, okay, okay, center. You see? Again, you can't leave this level to go to uh, your idea about it because you lose this, this level. This level. Also in this level is a natural down. That. <laughs> that. You all right, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and on and on. So trading in is basically 
Uh, you shift it again here. Ah, trade in is uh, just We're another good. way. I was hoping the words might help some people. Basically, it's clearing from the old so that the new can assemble. The new assembles because we're doing dimensional. We're moving into a bit finer interior dimension and the finer comes up. <laughs> uh, uh, she'll get back at me later. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the tricks of trading in would be to feel yourself, have a sense of yourself, feeling a sense of yourself, so that the more you trade in, the better the next mix will mix, okay? Um, so, Feel yourself, let's say, it's at your Bobby level, or I'm inadequate level, okay? Gee, my Nikio isn't very strong level. Okay, but take a moment and feel yourself. Feel yourself. So when you trade it in, those feelings, uh, your structure, everything is traded in, and the next mix creating a structure you and character you uh, will take care of a lot of those things. Is that, did I say that okay? I'm checking with my audience here. Is that all right? Uh, trading in. So it's a bit like clearing, da 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 da. Uh, it's uh, again, not done as an idea, okay? Uh, but I may have an idea that starts me going. But first it's idea. Then the actual process, could we call it? The actual involvement, whatever you want to call that, process? I think it's basically the word that I use. Let's do a process. Uh, okay, so uh, then uh, how this came about, uh, uh, what sparked me on trading in was I was talking to Diane Florida and, and she was talking about uh, letting go of her previous career. Okay. So she's got 25 years in her career, a couple of workshops. All right. And so here comes a major, uh, she's not trading in a blue belt Nikkei or to a brown belt Nikkei or this is a little bit bigger. Uh, she's trading in her income. She's trading in 25 years of whatever she got out of that job. She's trading in her claim to fame, okay? And she's not sure or she doesn't know what is next. Thank God she does know there is a next <laughs> possibility, capability, because uh, that's how the system works. Okay, it, it, it doesn't work as, oh, there's just a void. That's it, nothing here, I'm, I'm finished. It, it doesn't work that way. So, uh, so here you have more of a major uh, to take 25 years and everything you're invested in that and take all of that and trade it in, okay? Now, a more major like that is not a one-minute practice. I'd do it for one minute if that's all you have, just to begin to get a, a certain flavor, to begin to start the trade-in process. Uh, but because that's more major, uh, you may have to do it for longer periods of time, uh, maybe, of course, more than one day out of the week, uh, okay? It may take, uh, God knows, may have to, do this pattern every day, if you want, for a week. Still may not quite be there yet, may not be totally clear. There might be some sense of certain things, uh, but it won't be clear as to if you have a next occupation or if it's time to retire. <laughs> um, so, uh, so just letting you know there's a, a, a timing difference between uh, trading in Bobby for Robert, which is, it's be fairly fast, uh, or trading in a 
a blue belt knee cure for, I want to do this better. Boom, starting to do it at a brown belt level. Uh, it's fairly, fairly fast, fairly easy. Uh, but uh, one like uh, Diane is involved in is much, much bigger, but follows the same pattern. Uh, you do have a purpose in the creation. There is a mission. I know at first we don't know everything what it is, because in a way we don't really know who we are. Okay? We have these temporaries. Oh, I'm an Aikido master. Oh, uh, that's a temporary. Trade it in. Let's see if there's somebody else next here. Uh, so anyway, those big jumps, just recognize it's a big jump. Give it more time. Uh, don't panic at first because you don't know. It needs time uh, to, to really, really establish itself. Uh, at first may not be 100% clear. You may have bits and pieces of it. You might try out certain things that don't quite work. You just continue, get fuller and fuller uh, till it clicks and the world dances with you. Uh, that'll, that'll happen. Uh, but just have patience if it's a, 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 like a big time thing like Diane's could be. Uh, I remind a couple of people uh, on trade-ins, uh, I've told Dennis, our magician, uh, that a fun practice would be trading in the magician, meaning the guy that does a slay of, slay, slight of, slight? Is it sleight of hand things. Trade it in, trade it in. Because I know someplace there, there is a magician, okay? Now that's a big jump from doing magic tricks to being a magician in the sense that, oh, sensei was a magician, <laughs> okay? Uh, so uh, there, in that case, I would uh, uh, notice the differences, uh, but I wouldn't expect to be the great all-time magician of the universe in five minutes or five days or five weeks. Uh, but there will be some improvement on the earlier dentist the magician. I don't know what. Will his hands move better? <laughs> uh, Will he pick up some new tricks there and oh, and present them better? I don't know, but there will be an improvement. Uh, but to make that magician sort of a, a, a direction, uh, uh, as if that's where you're heading to, that you really want to be the magician, but you'll be whoever is uh, comfortable along the way, okay? But that's your goal, could we say? You have a goal of magician, of something like that. Okay, then my other uh, case is uh, Alan, my fast guy. Uh, and uh, I'm dying to get back on the mat with Alan because I really want to. Uh, I've talked to Alan a little bit about this, but we really haven't played practice with it, processed with it. But he's really fast. And he's pretty full-bodied when he's fast. He's, he's pretty much all there. So I know because the fullness of his body all there, I know the next one is really a definite, a dimensional change, okay? If you had half a body there, I'd say, oh no, we'll, we'll improve and get to be a bit faster until uh, he was fully there, but he's fully there as fast guy. Uh, so his trade-in will be something past fast guy. I don't know what it is. If you want me to surmise, the sense that I get, at this level sense, the sense that I get is, He'll be there and damn it, suddenly he'll be a little bit over here. Uh, and I, I wouldn't, I, I missed the that he moved, but he's not quite where I thought he was going to be. He's, he's, he's over here a little bit. So I, I, my senses of my show like that, but be open. Don't, don't be preset on what it should be. Trust the system to produce, to mix what it is for you at that level of you. Okay. And uh, then we'll see. So I'm looking forward to spending some time with Alan. Uh, Dennis, Bogey and play, of course. Okay. Trade in, trade in, trade in. Hmm. Let me check my paper here. Oopa. Uh.
Yeah, again, to reiterate, to spend a couple of minutes, whatever that is, uh, feeling you, the person before the trade in, feeling your pluses and minuses, okay, so that when you trade in, the next batch can mix up better according to what you traded in. Okay. If you sort of leave too much out, you're doing a half ass trade in. I, I'm thinking of a joke here where if Bobby, let's say Bobby's right arm is bad. Okay. If Bobby doesn't sort of include that sense uh, with the trade in, you know, it'd be quite possible that a Robert's right arm will be kind of weak. Not bad, but kind of weak. That's uh, just a story I, I, I made up. Don't hold me to that a thousand percent. But anyway, the better you can feel and present yourself, the better the next can boom. We did that a bit in the one by two by three by game. If you remember, uh, in the one by, I started this thing of what do you like about yourself? What don't you like? So I was trying to get a fuller, have you be fuller with, with yourself at that level. And when you were fuller, then when we moved to a two by two, a lot of those things were covered because of your, I like this, I don't like that. Okay. And then in two by two, we did the same thing. Uh, uh, whoa, this is much better. Uh, okay. And after a while, I was like, what do you like? What don't you like? What's there for you? What isn't there for you? And then we traded that in for a three by three, which covered a lot of that stuff. A, a little throw and arrow sensei said, uh, don't be too negative um, on the trade ins. If you hang on to too much negativity, uh, it's sort of, you interfere, you screw it up. I forget exactly the sense of that, but but don't be too negative on a on a trade in. Uh, I'm weak. It'd be nice if I were stronger, but I'm weak. Okay, I'd like to trade that guy in. Boom, 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 boom. boom. So I don't have to belabor my weakness. I, I acknowledged it. I might even have sensed, felt it. I don't have to belabor it, okay? I'm kind of honest with myself, with my pros and cons. I'm not a bad guy, but I could be more social. Ah, trade it in. Boom. This guy should have some semblance of being more social. I, I noticed the smiles kicking in. I didn't try to smile, but this next guy even just doing it quick like that that guy has a has smiles hey that helps in being social right uh, so where the hell are we trading in trading in trading in and remember these things are not an idea yes we need an idea about it uh -huh, uh -huh. but then we have to actually actually and actually be the next. Breathe it, feel it, stretch it. Have a sense of what else you can do in there. Uh, your relation with the world, uh, how do you view things? Uh, but first, the feeling is very important when you trade in. Uh, I emphasize the feeling of this mix. And I feel for a while before I start going into, now what would I think about being this being? this level. Uh, so I don't jump to what's my idea now. Uh, I, I, I hang out with feeling this next level of me. And then uh, the uh, my philosophy starts to show my view on the world starts to show. Uh, but start with the uh, fuller of the body at that level, so that you don't jump too fast into just an idea. Because uh, then you'll have an idea about something but the something is not there good enough, it'll dissipate too damn fast. If you get uh, em, embody it, okay, 
that there's a grouping in that mix. There's a breeding of a character in that mix. And I have a lot of feeling to check myself out before I go into anything uh, like philosophy. What's my philosophy now? I'm a Robert. I'm not Bobby anymore. How do I view the world as Robert? Uh, but I retain my feeling of myself. Uh, that doesn't dissipate too fast. Oh, eventually it will. But those people that jump to an idea, it dissipates deep like that. Okay. Ah. Uh, Okay, open mic. Where the hell are we? Uh, we can open the mics and uh, yes. uh, people, if you uh, would like to comment, please turn on your cameras comment and then uh, Nado Sensei will see who's ever speaking and we will all see the same thing. And so uh, please uh, uh, just go ahead and uh, 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 reach out to Sensei. Uh, uh, I think it's a free form here. And if you're Inside. wearing your, if Thank you're you. wearing your hair curlers, you don't have to put your picture on screen. <laughs> yes. Hi, it's Danny here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Right. Thank you. This has been an absorbing presentation. I've thoroughly enjoyed this. And you've answered a lot of questions, but I do have one in particular. Yeah. It's uh, you, the the golden bridge. Uh, um, I'm in the Uke Asha, yeah. Yes. It, is that the original self that's been soaking that you get back to? Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> okay. If you want to go all the way back to the heavenly self is a major piece, yeah. yeah. But... Uh, with the golden bridge are also the energies and stuff that make up a character and stuff. So they're all there. The whole picture is there. Can we say it that way? Danny, you following any of this? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so so I'm going to be a little bit light and loosey goosey there. You're getting past my pay scale a little bit. <laughs> uh, I think a better sense uh, for the level you're at is is to have a feeling in the bridge uh, to to have that whole assembly uh, where there's whatever level of self and uh, the all the energies that mix up character and keep that as part of the bridge. Okay. Yes. Now, when we get to the actual heavenlies, it might be a little different, but you're not there yet. So uh, I would do an assembly uh, sense of, of bridging to, to, to be honest, to be squared away, to, be to have a proper approach. Okay. Is, that, is that okay? That's very you're kind well. of trading in. If you... If your assembly is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Danny the Lesser. <laughs> but if Danny the Lesser is feeling himself, has a sense of himself, and Danny the Lesser trades in, then there'll be Danny the More, okay? And on lineage, eventually, Sir Danny the Great, and stuff like that. Uh, but, but there that Amanuke Hashi is starting to be active. Again, we're just looking at the shorter form of it, but the truer form, I hate to make distance because after a while, it's not that far away. Yeah, uh, but the, the, to be squared away on, on this approach, uh, damn well can't hurt. Uh, we definitely don't want to go into an idea about a golden bridge. Don't go there. Boom, boom, here, this. Stay in alignment. Um, that's the best I can say right now. Okay? Thank you very much. Hey, uh, Sensei, I have a question. 
you know, bouncing off of Danny's um, question and your response, uh, I spent my first three months in an incubator. And sometimes I try to go back to that point to, um, to that place of myself who was, as I understand, uh, was part of the, you know, came from the Golden Bridge. And- um, okay, Wait, 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 wait. I'm not sure what incubator meant now. I, uh, I was three months premature, so I spent three months yeah, in a- That I understand. You're okay. in a little machine or something. And it's right, there. to keep me oh, okay. alive. And okay. um, so can we go back to the beginning to get to that place that Danny asked you and you responded and you talk about and teach of our bigger selves? I, uh, see, I don't understand. I'm missing your question, but I don't understand what you in an incubator, how it fits in with Golden Br Bridge, how it might work. <laughs> I, I'm, okay. I'm, um, I'm lost. Yeah, I do that. Um, oh, do you? Yeah, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, um, it's like, what's your question? Bing, what's your question? Can we go back to our beginnings? Do you teach going forward yes, or being everybody, present? Everybody, this is here. Oh, Sensei told you. He said, everybody. This is for everybody. He just happened to be one of the, uh, a very, potentially, a, a sort of clear example of how it can function. But he said, you guys can do this. He used to tell me over and over, drove me crazy, not do. It's so easy, but you have to catch on. So I've always believed them. It's easy. These 50 years or whatever, that's my stupidity factor. I have, still believe them. It's easy. It's chum, chum. Now watch out for the mind people. Oh, okay, I'll make this up and chum, chum. And it can't be done that way. You still got to go through this process. I'm hinting that the process can get better faster. Okay. But you can't go into, oh, yeah, I understand. It's not that kind of fast. Okay. So a lot of, quote, spiritual types do that. They go into their whatever of the beauty and perfection of creation. I don't want you to get into the beauty of, of this golden bridge. Don't go there. Don't go there. Don't go there. Nothing proper will come of it. Okay. Okay. So All click, right, click, you. click, click. So since it was adamant, click, click, click. Okay. And wherever yeah. the incubator is, that's your stuff. I don't know. Somebody. Thank you. Sensei. Go. This is Andrew, this is Andrew from Aikido of San Jose. Um, so for the trading in, um, would you say that normally a person would have to go through a, a traumatic event in order to trade in their old self for yeah. the new? Yeah. I trade in every time I, or not every time I do a technique. Uh, I trade in all the time on the mat. I was settling open and trade in for a little bit better. I'm doing it all the time. So not only trauma, <laughs> okay. Uh, that don't make a big deal a certain way out of this. It's again, most of it's too easy. Even these first parts, we catch a couple simple tricks. Like, oh, it's not done up here. Uh, breathing, settling, opening, clearing, trading in, uh, and you play with that. It gets. You get faster at this. You don't need trauma for what we're doing. Did I miss anything there? Like, um, let's say somebody, um, somebody has had a rough childhood or whatever, or some no mm -hmm. rough I'll beginning, it, and then go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then, then they clean themselves up and they become very successful. Is that just another example of trading in, just on a bigger level? Depends what they did. I don't know what they did. Okay. okay. But, okay. We start in a one by one or less. I'm a real asshole. Easy. Feel yourself as being a real asshole. What do you like about it? Must be something you like because you've been staying in real asshole for quite a while. What do you like about being that guy? 
What don't you like? Feel yourself for a couple of minutes, honestly. Now begins the trade in or the clearing from that to the next dimensional mix. It's there for you. So begin to stop hanging on to, but I'm this and I'm that and all the problems and, and, and we all do. Okay. But a couple of tricks settle. Breathe. Some find some simple words for yourself to for this trade in or clearing. You know, basically, I laid it all out in the one by two by three by game. If we had more time, I'd go through the one by two by three by game again. That was a damn good game. Okay? It's all there, basically. Uh, so I brought you into a one by one where we were all, I was kind of scrunchy and, and I, I didn't want to deal with anybody. And I didn't mean, uh, okay? And I was playing for real. I just didn't make the phone. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. I, I felt it. I felt the tightness. I, I, I realized I couldn't breathe as well. Uh, and then we, in a simple way, shifted to a two by two. Whew, there was more breathing room. And we watched it stand a bit straighter. No, I seemed to move a little bit better. And, and it's all there. There it was. So what are you doing in your one by one that keeps you from trading in or clearing to go to a two by two? Uh, you don't need great amount of trauma or some angelic being hitting you with a turkey feather or something, whatever feather they hit you with, to pronounce you a holy being. It's right here. You settle, you open. Ah, just have a sense that there's a, that you're a mix. And as you settle and open, you're just at a different level of mix. And by law, it's a bit finer, better mix. Okay. So the asshole trading in may not be a great person on that first time hanging out there, but I'm going to be a little bit better somehow than the asshole. Guarantee, okay? Uh, now, little tricks. One is we have a very negative eye. And if the negative eye is coming into two by two or the next, uh, then it'll screw it all up. It, it, it won't let what's there be seen experienced because it's, it's, uh, no, no, it's being too negative in there. So you can't. So that first eye has to easy the eye. That's why I say easy the eye. Because a tighter eye, whew, he's a critiquer. He'll critique everything. He's negative about a lot of things. So I'm taking the, uh, the bad side of him, bad, the, the negative side of him. Uh, uh, he doesn't really want to experience. He wants to look at it and talk about it, but he doesn't want to experience it because he's in his own little domain. So know there's that kind of domain and make that part of easy settling, trading in, opening, right? So you gotta find simple practice and I try to lay them out as simple as I can. And you gotta do them. You gotta do them. You gotta get some uh, practice with this stuff. So it begins to show, son of a gun, I do feel better or something. You gotta play to start to build up a success record, to start to build up a, what's the word? When you win, win, win a streak. Uh, Victory. Okay, you've done, huh? Victory. <laughs> oh, hush. <laughs> uh, Anyway, practice and it gets better, and then you begin to even believe, oh, wow, it's getting better. Then I'll, now I believe it. How do I know? Because, bing! Because I started very slow and easy back in the day, and it got better. Okay? Uh, so now I believe it. I'm trying to tell you, hey, I try to do simple practices to show you that it's there. Say, like, oh, my God, my shoulder hurts. Ugh. But after we settle a bit and settle a bit, it sort of floats up. 
hey, hey, that's a something. As we settle a bit, we're in a, for lack of words, a different dimension, a better level. Yeah, not only does it float up, but it's, there's a kind of flavor to it. No tension in the shoulder, or minor, minor. Easy. Uh, you practice those dumb things so you can realize settling and opening or clearing or trading in, uh, it gets better. And you do it over and over until there's no question in your mind that if you settle and open, whatever gets better. You got to do it, though. You got to do it. Do dumb stuff like that. I did dumb stuff like that for hours over and over and over and over. Oh, hey, this is pretty easy. <laughs> okay, somebody. Sensei, we'd like to take a short break to solve a technical issue. So uh, okay. we'd like to take a uh, two-minute break, if you don't mind. Two-minute break, then we'll come back. Any questions or observations? Yes, we'll be, we'll be right back. We're just going to take a two-minute break to, just on Sensei's side. And Anybody so, with a sense of danger, feel free. <laughs> okay, everybody else, time for a quick break. And... Uh, uh, whatever you got to do. We'll be right back in two minutes. Thank you very much. Lauren, we're, we're okay now. Yeah, back. Anybody left? Lauren, can you hear me? Welcome back, Sensei. Thank you very yeah. much. It's and uh, so now we still have open mics, if anybody yeah. wants to uh, mention anything. Mm -hmm. uh, Sensei, before I sign off, I want to comment that when I lived in Japan, I heard from old timers that O oh, sensei really loved to relax with tabletop magic. He, there was somebody that lived in Shingu who was really adept at like coin tricks and card tricks. And he would, O oh, sensei was delighted to, to, to watch and like, Oh, I can't believe you did it. Do it again. You know? <laughs> and, uh, uh, so that, uh, you know, he liked being a human being. Uh, Anybody have any questions for Sensei or comments? Any, any stories about your sense of some danger, uh, like my sister? And anybody out there? We can finish up anytime if you want. Anybody, anything before we finish? Are they there, Lauren? 
I think everybody's still here, but in stunned silence, Dusty is raising his oh, hand. I'll so, say something. Open your Thank mic. You. Thank you, Dusty. Sensei. Go. Um, yeah, it feels like those, those circles, like, that they, not blend, is there a blending between them as far as like when you're trading in, like the, um, Trading in with energy between the between the two circles between the the sense. Well, no, the circles are big time, big time picture. Uh, you trade in. You're still in, uh, let's say, the energy circle. You're trading into a finer level or what we call dimension. You're trading into a finer dimension. Okay, and that is overlaid with trade into a next finer dimension. Other well, dimensions are overlaid. Okay. Yeah. Is that all right? No, I think that's good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm, it's, they feel concentric. Concentric in some ways, like dancing. Can they, can they blend together and dance with each other? Uh, not, no, they're overlaid. So they're in relation. That's a simple example. Uh, Sensei, I think that uh, the other week when you explained it, just to remind everyone, you said that you were drawing them as if they were sequential, but oh, in yeah. reality, they are yeah. dimensions that exist at yeah. the same time simultaneously. Yeah. yeah, so right, thank you. Right here, right now, if we were, if we had the capability of going through finer and finer and finer dimensions, there'd be uh, that dimension that is the ultimate finest within creation, which then as you continue, there is a heavenly pre-creation factor available. It's all overlaid. Yeah. Yes. No. I don't know. How to say that easier. Uh, is it like the medical book pictures we have to bring yeah. up again? Yeah. It's in the medical book. Yeah. There's a body and you turn the page. Oh, there's the bones of the body and you turn the page. Oh, there's the whatever's next. Circulation. Circulation. Oh, and you turn it. Uh, they're all here. <laughs> they're all here. <laughs> okay. I just continue with that. <laughs> it's all here, but it's fine, but finer vibrational. Each vibe finer than the previous one. Thank you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> of, uh, for example, using chanting as just a first simple practice. Uh, all right, that's the sound. Easy, settle, inferring, or see where I'm at. But because I settle, I'm inferring it's a little bit better dimension. Oh, it's gonna go on forever here. Uh, whoa, that was, uh, for me, that was a pretty good jump. I usually have a couple more ads before I get to that level. But there it was, because it's here. I just have to settle to get to that dimension where that one's a bit different. Started to echo around in the room, and ooh, ooh. anyway, um, but they're all here. It's just a matter of where I'm at. On a bad day, I'm at. and that's my starting place. That's where I'm at. Settle and say. And uh, say ah again, and then settle and say ah again. And after a while, you begin to realize, oh, I don't say ah. Ah just seems to flow through me. And then things like that begin to change. It's like breathing, breathe. Uh, I inhale, exhale. But after a bit, if you just hang out with that, with a sense of finer dimension, just hang out with breathing. Uh, after a while, you begin to catch that, my God, it's breathing through me. I started with, I breathe. I do this. 
find your dimensions, you're like, whoa, I'm breathing, but there's something breathing along with me, through me. <laughs> like that. Uh, so uh, back to uh, uh, the earlier uh, discussion with uh, Sam, Andrew. Andrew, sorry, went blank. Uh, uh, start with something simple. You can say ah. Well, then stay with it. Settle and say ah again, and stay with it, and say ah again, and stay there. I don't give a shit an hour, and keep doing that. And that should pull you out of eh, into something a bit better, okay? Uh, so there are reference for, ooh, the sound's getting better. Later you'll sort of check your mix and realize you're feeling better, thinking better, punching better, whatever, okay? But use the ahs for reference. A lot of people use breathing for reference. Uh, they're just good references. Okay, so chanting is an ancient one. Oh, since I love chanting, uh, it's a good one. Breathing, uh, most all developmental arts talk or play with breathing somehow. That's a good one. Okay, uh, certain move kinds of movements. Hatha yoga is a potential if you know what you're really doing with it. Whirling dervishes must do something. Uh, so movement done in a certain way, for a certain reason, uh, can be something. Unfortunately, people get into movement as an exterior and uh, don't really do inner with that. It's inner manifesting out exterior. I'm aware of the exterior, but I'm back to inner, inner. Because uh, I don't want to get up and get, uh, get out on just the exterior and lose the inner calling. And there's a calling here. So in one sense, it's not that uh, should make the difficulty easier because there is a calling pulling. The more original of you is calling the lesser you. It wants you to come back to you. You come back to you. So uh, after a while, you begin to trust yourself is calling you. You just got to give it some room, uh, uh, spark it. Who, who am I really? And because that's there, it'll, it'll assist in moving you into a better level of you to know better at that level who you are really at that level. Okay? So use the simple stuff. We're getting close to finish up time, are we, somebody? Since it's Chip, I've got a question. Yeah. You um, talked about at the beginning, clearing from the old and letting go. I, I made it my notes that's letting go to something more. And you're, you said you couldn't lose really by doing that. It's something unknown. You don't know what's going to happen. There's some trust there. Yes. Yeah. Trust, by the way, comes up quite a lot. <laughs> in discussions with different people. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you finish it, but we'll come back. Uh, but again, if you do simple things and you see an improvement, then you automatically be, you... settle and breathe, sense of opening a little bit, whatever, whatever, and do it again. You may not notice a difference on one or two, easy. Ah, settle, breathe, be more here, and easy. Uh oh, that one was different. It felt different. Did I make that up? Maybe I made it up because since I said to make it up. Do it again. <laughs> settle it easy. Do it again. Settle it easy. Oh, again, something else was there. Something kind of floated that hand up. Uh, chip. How much proof do we need that it gets better? All You're I'm right. doing is a simple dimensional change. Chip, how much proof do you need? Are we dealing with a critical eye that won't let anything prove itself? No, Easy the eye. 
more and more and it's easy to get comfortable with that more but there's always something more right for quite a while yeah not forever and ever and ever ever in a day but since they kind of showed you that mm -hmm. uh but yeah mm -hmm. it goes on and on but not so long where you say shit i don't want to do this it's 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 going to go on forever yeah. something's not quite right there got to be something about the game that's really fun okay we enjoy doing the game if you get to a better level in doing the game hey great but do the game to do the game but yes it will bring you to a better level uh but watch out for it ah, goes on forever uh so uh yeah okay. don't stop yourself before you start don't scare yourself thank you sensei Anyway, again, that's why we do these dumb practices in the beginning. For you to get feedback that, oh, look, I just settled and breathed and opened the bin. And, whoa, it got better. My technique got better. What the hell do you think we're doing this stuff for? You think I, I'm, I'm madly in love with Aikido? Uh, to me, it's an interesting way following a sensei of trying to lay something out. <laughs> and so we do that class after class after class to some degree in some form look at if you settled down did wasn't your technique better yes it was better <laughs> why because you settled down now the dumb people bounce off of that go, oh i got it i will do it better and then they get off the path okay get better ground okay this feels like better ground do your technique. Woo, that was better than before. Oh, let's continue. Better ground, easy. Okay, it feels a bit wider. Maybe it'll thicker. Oh, okay. Ground, ground, do your technique from ground. Whoa, that was even a bit better. Oh, shit, you do that stuff over and over again. So, anybody? Sensei, I have a question. Yeah. Um, I was wondering if um, sense feeling has is related to trusting your instincts. You know, like if I'm walking out in nature um, yeah. and settling and and sensing, and I'm interacting. Um, I guess in my experience, sometimes I wonder if I'm listening to my instincts or if it's through. Okay. Well, I, you threw in another word there, so let's let's, let's go slowly through this. Okay. Settle some feeling. We're into the realm that we're calling sensing this uh, this couple of weeks. Sensing. Okay. Now, I'm not sure why where instincts is coming in. Could you tell me where that word? Uh, sure. Okay. So um, one experience I had was I was walking down a trail, and I just I kind of had this sense that uh, I had a pair of eyes on me. Um, okay. So I looked down, yeah. and this squirrel was looking at me, trying to decide mm -hmm. if it needed to run away or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let me tell you my story. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm sitting in my apartment, sitting on the couch, uh, starting to meditate, I guess, or maybe meditating. And suddenly, I have this feeling, this sense uh, that something is off. And, and it catches me so strong. I just start to move my eyes a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right and a little bit more to the left and a little more to the right until I'm starting to scan the room a little bit more. Damn it, there was a pigeon in my apartment sitting on the, I had a pole between the kitchenette and the, the living room. Uh, and there's a pigeon sitting up there looking at me, of course. But then I was sitting with no sense of a bird in my apartment. I don't even know how he got in there. I think I had an air shaft. Yeah, I think he came in through the air shaft would be my guess. Any, anyway, that I was just like temporarily frozen, just knowing something was off and not knowing what. But that's, that's how I did it. Uh, ooh, pigeon. So yeah, same story, yeah? Okay, yeah. So what's the big deal here? I'm just wondering if they're related. Are they the same? Well, what's related? I sense okay. certain things. So something sense somebody's looking at me. <laughs> oh, right, it was a pigeon. In your case, it was a squirrel. 
what, what's, what's, my sister said, stop the car. She said something was wrong. Brilliant move on her part because to tell her husband to stop the car was already a major move. But it's stopping the car and looking right over the crest of that hill. Damage or death was right there. Sensing, okay? Sensing can go out further, for lack of words. It has a finer sense of things. Uh, can pick up stuff I can't pick up, okay? Uh, on a good day, you can sense somebody who's a thousand miles away, sense them, and in a certain way, they should pick up the phone and call you. Okay. Yeah? Thank you, Sensei. Is that all right? Yes, thank you. Okay. Another story. I'm in Japan, just been there a short time, month or whatever. My wife is still in California, so I wanted to call her and check in. Uh, but in those days, to make a long-distance call, you couldn't just do it. Uh, you had to say you wanted to make a long-distance call to the state, and then you'd wait an hour, hour and a half for the line to clear so you could make your call. They'd call you back when it was time. So while I'm sitting there for that hour, hour and a half, whatever it was, uh, of course, I'm thinking about her. When she picked up the phone on the other side, she was in tears already. I said, so what's up? And she was sleeping, but she woke up. She thought I was in the room. She felt I was in the room. And it really threw her and made her cry. And then the phone rang. Sensed? <laughs> Sensitive to me? <laughs> Okay, that's another cute story, no? Uh, well, Sensei, I think people. that we're, we're, we're getting uh, very close to uh, time's out, time's up. And so uh, if you're uh, ready to wrap it up, maybe uh, this is a good point. Up to you. Okay. Hang on, it's Mike from New Zealand. Mike from New Zealand, yes, sir. Well, first of all, a, a comment on, on your teaching of sensing. An earlier teacher, in fact, a teacher before Aikido, said as part of the training that in the beginning, we touch to feel. Mm -hmm. And then as you practice and you experience and you get better, eventually you will be able to feel to touch. Now, that was his words. But in fact, uh -huh. I'd replace touch with sense. In other words, that you didn't have to have direct physical contact to know that something was there. Yeah, we do this all the time. Come on. Yes. It's yes. basic. Oh, okay. Ha. Ah. Hmm. Okay. I'll try to move on in faster time. Ah, easy. Oh, I kind of saw, felt her coming in before the actual grab. Ah. Ah. <laughs> well, come on, we've done that all the time. <laughs> you start heavy, then you settle and you get into finer, and after a while you shoo. <laughs> so not only did I feel all of that, but I felt where she was coming from, and that's why I can't do it now, but that's why she moves so easily there. Because it sets where she was coming from. There she goes. Okay? We used to do blindfold technique back in the day. In fact, I had a bunch of blindfolds in the in the dojo. We, we'd be doing that a lot. Uh, Bob Noah got very good at it. Uh, and the game was to have uh, somebody move on you. and uh, But make sure we weren't making noise. It wasn't clomp, clomp, clomp. You know, very quiet, as best as we could, not to make any noise. And we reach for the person, grab the person. And Bob, uh, who, who was doing very well with this, uh, uh, after a while, I could feel them coming, even though he couldn't see them, he could feel the angle they were coming in from, and he started to move in a perfect uh, harmony with that angle. He got very good at that. In fact, I think his technique blindfolded better than when he had his eyes open. Bob, just joking. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the other thing I wanted to ask you was, or to get you maybe to confirm, was that it seems to me that 
this ability to um, move dimensionally works when you've got a specific thing to do. It's not a state that you can simply hop into and stay there forever. Uh, now, what do I worry about that forever? The, the creation's beating. Creation's beating. Oh, uh, hang, hang on. Could you give me some money for that guy? Ten bucks in my wallet. Oh, I'm sorry, my wallet's there. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, where were we? I got caught up in it. I think we're actually wrapping up, Sensei, because it's uh, let him finish. eight o'clock. Let him finish. Go ahead, last moment. Uh, yeah, I was just saying that it seems that this moving into a finer dimension works when you've got a particular thing to do. Mm -hmm. It's not kind of an elevated state that you can maintain. You get better at holding yourself together longer, for longer periods, unless the situation changes at which time your system is changing. Okay. Uh, but that ability of holding longer uh, is part of the practice. Okay, with that stipulation that uh, if you get a change around you, then of course you're going to change in relation to it. Uh, but uh, no, I don't get freaky about trying to hold my best all the time. I know you do. I I'm not that. There's a certain point where I don't want to get any tighter. I don't want to get into a minus or one by one or a weird Bobby. I, I don't want to go that far. Uh, but uh, but the normal sort of drifts, uh, I'll accept those because at any time I want, I can hit and start to really play the game. Uh, so I'm not locked into the drift per se. Okay, but I don't mind that there's a bit of a drift. Uh, I don't mind if I wake up one day and I'm not quite at my best. Yeah, I'm not at my best. Now, if I've got to go function, then I'll do something, hopefully. So I can function better, uh, but I'm okay with I'm not at my best. Okay, so uh, so I'm not sure what you're looking for, but you're you're looking for something. We'll talk about it another day. Okay. Thanks, Sensei. It's been a great session. Yeah. Okay. And thank uh, you so much, Sensei. Uh, people, thanks for hanging out. Uh, take care. See you next week, yeah. Thank you, Sensei. Thank, Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Sensei. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Sensei. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Thank you Lauren. Be safe. Good night. Thank you very much. Well, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, bye. One night. All right, everybody's going. Bye. Bye. Good night.